Hi, I'm Calvin Carrington. And I'm Ron Thompson. And our question was, <clears throat> what is the role of bacteria biofilms and why can it cause problems? First, what is a biofilm? A biofilm is a group or community of bacterial cells and other microorganisms that grow and live on different surfaces. They secrete polysaccharides that make a special coating over the biofilm, which protects and helps the biofilm grow safely from the outside environment. Depending upon the bacteria, different needs must be met in order for a biofilm to form. Most biofilms need a moist surface to bind to and nutrients for the biofilm to start growing. A bacterium binds to a moist surface by secreting sticky polysaccharides. Bacterial biofilms can form on most surfaces as long as the conditions are right. Once they are bounded, they begin to colonize and reproduce. They produce a 3D structure that is affected by external influences. Once a large enough community is formed, the biofilm can spread by releasing large clumps of cells which can bind in other places and begin to colonize another biofilm. Also, a biofilm can release chemical signals that can attract other microorganisms. Biofilms can, be fo can form virtually everywhere. Anywhere bacteria can grow generally, a bacterial biofilm can grow as well. Many common areas that biofilms can be found are in rivers and pools and on rocks, trees, plants, and teeth. Biofilms feel slimy to the touch, so anywhere you feel a slimy residue, it's most likely a biofilm. Sometimes biofilms produce vibrant colors like the red biofilms found near thermal vents or bright green biofilms found in creeks and riverbeds. Biofilms play several important roles in our world. One such area is modern medicine. If a biofilm grows in a patient, such as on a replacement hip, the biofilm is more difficult to treat than a normal infection due to the barrier of polysaccharides preventing penetration of antibiotics and other medications. Treating the biofilm has a low success rate, mostly because there is an overall reduced growth rate of all the cells in the biofilm, which means that they're all less susceptible to antibiotics. Since a, a biofilm can be made up of several different species of archaea, bacteria, and fungi living together, any treatment that does pass through the barrier may not kill the entire colony, as the cells are at different phases of their life cycle. Another concern would be that antibiotic resistance can also be quickly passed from cell to cell, making the infection more dangerous. If a biofilm forms in a wound, it may become a chronic infection. Examples of chronic biofilm infections include cystic fibrosis, gingivitis, chronic synonitis, and periodontitis. MRSA-resistant bacteria are unfortunately a commonality of many dangerous biofilms in humans. Biofilms have a significant impact on the biological world in both positive and negative ways depending upon the situation within the environment. Thanks to modern research, biofilms are being used to help naturally treat industrial wastewater by consuming excess carbon that was used to treat the water, which reduces the population of microorganisms within the wastewater. Biofilms are used in mining to prevent sulfuric acid concentrations from being produced, which gen greatly reduces overall waste and damage to the environment. In environmental cleanup facilities, chemically resistant biofilms Biofilms that have species that are not affected by high levels of ammonia or other toxic chemicals are used in bioremediation, which is less damaging to the surrounding environment. However, there are some unwanted effects of desirable, undesirable biofilms forming. Unwanted biofilms damage industrial plants and other settings via biocorrosion, biofouling equipment damage, and product contamination. The biggest problem with unwanted biofilms is the devastation that they cause in the aquatic world. Biofilms cause large dead zones in water, which stems from an excess of nutrients from fertilizer waste dumped in waterways, which allows for quick population growth of bacteria, and the oxygen is depleted until the zone is uninhabitable to most forms of life. In conclusion, biofilms are an important source of both positive impacts on the world and unintended and dangerous effects that must be managed. Though they play a vital role in the environment as the original recyclers of waste usable products, they can also be potentially hazardous to human health. There is still a lot unknown due to the sheer mass of millions of unique microorganisms living together that can seemingly randomly form a biofilm and work together. And so that, in essence, is what is a biofilm, how they work, and some problems that they can cause. Thank you!